All right. Well, looks like we're going to paint the nose of the pickup today. Figured I'd uh, let you see some of the stuff that I use uh, to paint with, at least uh, at least this project. This is the paint we're going to use. It's Tractor Supply. It's made by uh, Magic uh, Paint Company. Uh, this is the uh, this is the color. This is the reducer, and this is the hardener. I use uh, their products. I know uh, they say that you can use, uh, you know, other people have said you can use other kinds of thinners and stuff. I use the stuff that's made right by their, their company, and I don't have to worry about it. This is uh, the uh, tack rag that I use. This is uh, what I'll do when I get ready to paint here is uh, this is a... a a grease or a, a surface cleaner they call it uh, made by Napa uh, I've used this particular stuff for years there's other brands out there uh, I take this and wipe the entire area that I'm going to paint down it removes any fingerprints or uh, anything that could possibly get onto it once that's dry then I'll go over the whole surface with a tack rag, uh, and uh, this takes up any dust or lint or whatever happens to be on the surface. This is the last thing that I do before I paint. Uh, I use a, a funnel that has a, you know, it's a screen uh, for uh, taking out anything when I mix the paint uh, this is as I put it in the gun uh, this is a filter I use these bags I, this goes inside of the cup you can use this with a HVLP or this style doesn't matter uh, makes cleanup a lot easier I don't have to clean the cup uh, so that's uh, that's the deal with uh, with using these kind of bags here. Uh, when I I'm a extremely particular on mixing my paint. I I want to make sure that it's uh, that it's mixed exactly the way I want it. Uh, so I make up these uh, every every kind of paint has a different mixing uh, ratio. So I make up a chart that will, so I can mix up half quarts or quarts. And uh, I do it in milliliters, it's a little bit more precise. Uh, I use these uh, type of things. And what I do is, uh, is I save uh, containers, all different kinds of containers. And so I, when I get ready to mix my paint, I use water uh, in, the, in these here, pour it into the container, mark my lines where they need to go, and uh, that, that way it's real easy. I just pour the different materials in until they hit the lines, and uh, it's done. And, uh, so, and it's easy to duplicate when I when I'm doing several different uh, paint jobs on the same vehicle especially this is the uh, I use uh, I've been using lately Harbor uh, freight um, materials as far as their uh, their paint strainers this is the the spray gun liners uh, I have not tried these yet. This is the first time. This is a, a Harbor Freight uh, uh, paint mask. Um, according to their their recommendations, it's going to filter out everything that I'm going to encounter when I'm painting this stuff. So, uh, if I make another video, you'll know that it worked. <laughs> and uh, this is just a cleaner.
this came from Tractor Supply lacquer thinner. Uh, I use that, to, you know, my final cleanup uh, on my guns. Uh, these are the uh, disposable gloves that I use uh, as I mix and as I paint. So that's uh, that's the materials. That's how I do it. Uh, it's not the definite you have to do it my way uh, there's a million ways of doing it and uh, so it's just the way that I do it okay so I'm not sure that I'll be able to film uh, while I'm painting uh, I'm going to try some things uh, in the uh, in the sides of the uh, paint booth that I got here there's a an area that I can roll back and it has a clear window in it uh, how much I'm going to be able to film I'm not sure uh, whether it's going to come through uh, and show any kind of definition through that vinyl window or not I'm not sure so we'll try it we'll see what happens and uh, Next time you see the truck, it'll have a black nose. All right, well, here's the procedure that I start with. Some people spray this on. I prefer to put it on the rag. surface cleaner to take off all the grease or any kind of films that may have gotten on here while washing it or anything of that nature. Okay, I use a brand new microfiber cloth. Turn it over here without spilling my cleaner. Preparation is everything. Everything that you see on top of the paint is done underneath the paint. So if you do a poor job of prep, you're going to have a poor job that you see. You're going to see it every day. Unless it's not your vehicle. Then you might hear about it every day. That's what I, that's how I do it. What is that? Pretty simple step. But it alleviates any, any possibility of having any kind of uh, oil or surface contaminants. Now, from now on, I won't touch the vehicle with my bare hands or, or anything else until uh, until after it's painted. What I do now, I'm painting with a dirt floor. Uh, so everybody says, well, why are you uh, go to this extreme when you're painting from a dirt floor? Well, I wet the floor, I'll, I'll dampen the floor so that I won't raise any dust before I paint. And 
and uh, that also raises the humidity up a little bit. I like to have it a little bit right around 50 to 65 percent humidity, which is really hard to do inside of a uh, area like this, but we'll dampen the floor so we don't raise any dust and uh, go from there. All right, there's my supervisor. He come in and check my work out after I get done painting, and it's uh, safe to walk in here, of course. So that's his sign of approval. All right. Oh, it's all black. Well, the nose is all black. And uh, now it's got a set, and uh, we'll color sand it. And uh, there's a little bit of orange peel into it, which is normal, especially for this type of paint. But uh, that'll get sanded out when we color sand and uh, then we'll put two coats of clear and uh, if I can get it here in time we're going to order uh, some silver metal flake we'll try we'll see we'll see if it's going to go on there or not I'm not sure we'll do some test panels first and uh, see how it comes out and uh, I've, uh, I've sprayed a lot of metal flakes and pearls. And uh, so we're going to try this and uh, see if it works. Uh, and if it does, this will uh, make it that much better, that much nicer for the type of materials that we're using. All right. We'll catch you later.